Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you a project that's been in the making for a while now. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys probably seen this before. If not, link in the description. This project is actually a patio setup and it's all made out of recycled material. Even the foundation was all recycled concrete slabs that we obtained uh, during some work. I laid them all down by hand to get them all nice and snug like a puzzle piece. Even spending nights to make sure they're all leveled and equal to each other. That's so we can fill up the cracks even with sand or even concrete, depending. We even bought a soft egg to fill out with livestock and even an aquarium, aquatic plants, lilies, and water taro and all stuff like that. Personally, I wanted fancy goldfish inside of this. The stock tank measures over 6 feet in length and 2 by width and two more in depth. Red is Buffalo country and it is made out of metal and coated so it is fish safe for any use and it does have a drainage. I did remove anything that was against the fence and move away more rocks or anything that was in the way since I don't know what I'll do over there on the sides maybe plant beautiful flowers or something like that. The foundation isn't complete still. We need a retaining wall at the end that's what could hold all the sand or cement we're using and I was thinking about using all the rest of the stones to make a path of somewhat leading here. Here's all the concrete and slabs I moved into two piles. There's so much of it. I don't know what I'll do with the excess. Let me know in the comments below if you guys thought of something. But even later on, we decided to add an extension deck to the patio. That's my father helping me. All these tiles you see we're using are actually roofing tiles that are meant to be on big houses and whatnot. But we're using them for the patio extension. And these are all recycled material, so none of it is going to waste at all. As you can see, we also use sand as well as the foundation to level all everything out and even set up some retaining walls those in the front as we add on more and level them out and make sure they lock into place. To be honest, I don't think I would have been able to do this without my father. And the next day, all, everything is getting complete. We're even finished cutting all the tiles and we're going to seal it off with another retaining wall. A 5x2 right here and we're going to use it to seal it off as our retaining wall and fill all the cracks up with sand as well. Now the use of the sand, I asked this question myself, is to actually compact all the tiling to make sure there's no cracks or anything but also drain water if it ever rained from the side. We spend many hours on this project. It's quickly turned to night and we just finished sealing off the left and the right of the retaining walls. It was actually a long hard process as well since the elements were against us. There was a lot of other things such as making sure everything was leveled and not as crooked or anything. To hammer these long metal stakes into the ground that's so it could hold up the retaining wall. The following day we just covered the entire side with sand all around, brushing it everywhere around the cracks to make sure it's all sealed. After checking all the retaining walls were all safe and secure, the sand sealed everything on the following night while it rained, but that was okay as well, it would compact the tiles even further. After some time passed, my father was making his own little project and details to the patio as well by adding a garden bed and even a giant area for a tree. And he adds another one for shade for the patio as well. He really does love his trees and as I said before, I don't think I would be able to do it without him. He's quite a um, unique man. After the side was all secure, we bought another stock tank. This one was actually supposed to be the turtle tank. It's actually another Bethlehem Country brand. 103 gallons, a $90 purchase. In my opinion, it was a little bit overpriced. I found some old crates we weren't using and we're going to use these for a turtle dock since she'll need both land and water accessible for her. 
So we cut these down to make them workable pieces. We cut off the corners, that's so it will be flush against the stomp tank since it is round. After cutting all the pieces that we needed, it was time to sand all the edges down since I didn't want the turtle to be injured or any way. Like and subscribe for more and like the video, it does help me out in the YouTube algorithm. The aim goes with the second piece here. After sanding down the edges and washing them down, I start placing them inside to see how well they work. Here you can start to see what we're looking for, a nice platform for her to go on and also a ramp for her to have access to. And this is why we cut the edges, that's so they can be nice and flush against the tub and it will take a lot less room. looking real nice. The ram will need zip ties to secure it with the rest of the boxes. I can already tell she's gonna love her basking area since everything is starting to heat up back again and I can have her outside now. After I was done playing with the grates, I start filling up the tub with water. This creek is starting to run around in the water, which is not very good to have a platform starting to be unstable. So I quickly add the other box on top of it, that's so I can keep it down with its own weight. These crates do lock against each other because of the ridge on the bottom. I add the round that's so I have more info how high I want the water level to be.
Having the water level almost where I want it, I started adding dechlorinator to the water. This stuff is prime dechlorinator. It is really strong. It's meant for ponds and any large body of water of that. I would not recommend it to put it in your small tanks. After adding the dechlorinator, I started stirring around with the jet hose. That's so the dechlorinator can really work. They're all done. Now it's time to add in the plants. Of course, for it being a pond, I was going to add in some pond plants, like this water hyacinth, which is just overgrowing the little pot. This is why I need ducks. I have a whole bucket of water hyacinth and frog bit from my other tanks. And there's still a lot more than that. Maybe in the future. Now it's time to add in the plants. After adding in all the water hyacinth and frog bit into the tub, it was time to jumpstart the cycling. I use Aquarium Co-op's Easy Green. This stuff is really good for any plants at the aquarium. I use them personally in every tank that has plants. One squirt is good for each 10 gallons, so I had to add in a, quite a few. Now that's all done, I'll let the plants begin the process of cycling the tank and use all those nutrients. Next I added the ramp, that's so we can attach it to the rest of the dock. I like it better on this side of the tub, so if the turtle wanted to drop it in the water, she'll have a drop side. That's where she could go immediately into the water. Now we're going to attach the ramp with these zip ties. A really easy and reliable method. These zip ties should reach all the way, and I'll show you how you do it. First, you want to grab your zip and grab the ramp and loop the zip tie through the holes of the crate to the bottom of the one standing straight up. Now this should go all the way in and oh it's too short. And we're back this time with a longer zip tie that should be able to go in and loop around. Now what you want to do is grab the ramp, loop it through the crate's holes and out again that's so you could attach it to the ramp side and lock it this should work and okay now this one should really work I attach it to by locking one to the very end so now I have double the length
after looping them both, you want to grab the end of the zip tie and put it right through the head. And you'll sure to hear, of course, the zipping sound, making it lock. So make sure they're all nice and tight together. Grab another zip tie, same method, and do the same to the other side. And don't worry about the excess, you just grab a pair of wire cutters and clip the excess right off. And done, you got yourself a turtle dock now. Oh, nice and secure. Not bad if I do say so myself. A really nice pomper. Now it's just time to add her in. Sorry for not taking a video of this part. She was awfully shy and didn't want to come out. But she does use her talk daily to warm up. That's it for this video guys. Like the video, subscribe for more. And always, I hope you have a fished fantastic day.